why your life looks like yesterday. Are you really sure you are in today? I know why your finances looks like 10 years ago. Are you really sure you are in today? Because every day God creates, there are treasures that make for the day. How many of you know that every 24 hours at the end of it, there is also a door? One of the things that will happen to us tonight by the Spirit is that while we are praying, you will be stepping into doors by the Spirit. Between 12 midnight and 12.01, there is a door. That just because day and night is happening to you, does not mean you are moving. Notice how many things happen in the bible at midnight at midnight at midnight at midnight there are doors that have refused to open to us if your tomorrow is calling you and you are in your yesterday you cannot receive tomorrow's blessing this is a place of abundance this is a place of greatness my question is where is your portion why do strangers come into your land and eat the riches of the earth they have mastered how to open the doors and the borders of the city do you know hands can be laid on you but the door that opens you up to receive the anointing can be closed do you know that the heart of men has doors that this womb you see has a door your mind has a door your mind can be closed then open ye their understanding tonight we are going to roll away some stones financial stones fruitfulness stones, marital stones that everything that must shift all doors open like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it peaks, spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars if men bless you once a year it's still some level of favor but that's not the best of god you can get to a point where he daily loads you with benefits how many of you know that every 24 hours at the end of it there is also a door days are partitioned not just by the what they call it the gregorian calendar what do they call it there are doors so between 12 midnight and 1201 there is a door just because your clock says 1201 does not mean you have entered in another day no it's only your watch that entered please listen to me i teach you prophetic truths you can say good afternoon good morning what's today's date today is the 11th you are only saying it because of what you have seen but prophetically the date for you can still be 1997 please believe what i'm telling you and any result of 98 99 your life will reject it because it is unlawful give us this day and since you are in that day you will only get for that day the daily bread is for the day you are entering in and if you are in 1997 you cannot get the blessings of 2020 so there must be an acceleration where doors are open give us this day i know why your life looks like yesterday are you really sure you are in today I know why your finances looks like 10 years ago are you really sure you are in today because every day god creates there are treasures that make for the day he says the daily bread don't carry the bread and save it he told the nation of israel it was a lesson because every day i am benevolent enough to put the supplies for that realm so by the time you have five children and prophetically you still have the destiny and the financial level of a young man who is not even married you will find out there is bank you will never have enough because the day you are in prophetically is it not in your bible that a thousand days on earth in the realm of the spirit can still be one day it is not just heaven standard the realm of the spirit has a system of caging you can be in march april may physically but prophetically you are still in December please listen to me let me show you the mysteries of the kingdom have you seen 
Now, don't feel offended, respectfully speaking. Have you seen a little child who does not grow well and he's 10 years or 20 years, but he's still, you, you understand what I'm saying? You see that condition. Now, you can't deny the fact that the child is 10 years because he has lived every day and night, day and night, day and night for 10 years. But the reality of that child's situation has refused to honor his growth, the days. So a man's life can dishonor the times that he has faced. That you can say, I have been working for 16 years, but prophetically, the realm of the spirit says we reject that information. As far as we are concerned, you are only two days old. As far as favor is concerned. If physically, listen, the realm of the spirit teaches, the physical realm teaches us how the realm of the spirit work. It is possible for a 40 year old man to not walk. It's an anomaly, but it is real. That means it can happen in the realm of the spirit too. You can say, I've been 25 years in Christ. You are right, but you are wrong. Prophetically, you'll be surprised that you are just celebrating two years. Your results is that of a two-year-old person. We have some prayers to do this night, too. When he blessed Abraham, he said in the blessing of Abraham, he said, I will make thy name great. Listen, your name is not you. Your name can be great, whereas you are not great. And if you are not great to match your name, one day you will bring your name down. God makes your name great as an act of his mercy so that you grow quickly to match that name. Solomon had a great name before Sheba but she did not trust that he was a great man she came to verify in the palace when she saw everything she said ah half of this what not told me that means as a man of God you can have a great name by what someone said but the day they meet you will your greatness match the name they had you can have a great name as a CEO and the day people look at you they say I'm disappointed no this man's name is greater than him. Are we blessed? When I found out that just because day and night is happening to you does not mean you are moving. Believe me. Notice how many things happen in the Bible at midnight. At midnight at midnight at midnight the gate that closes yesterday yesterday is a deep mystery it's not just time passing life is divided into past present future and they are all separated by doors it is the reason why god gave you an ability to still go back into the past you can use imagination and go back into the past and your present will start feeling the impact of the past you can start crying is that true you can watch a movie that was acted 10 years ago and get emotional now the emotion of 10 years ago appears in your today and physical tears start coming out that means the failure of yesterday can follow you and enter your today makes today like yesterday enters your tomorrow makes tomorrow like yesterday enters next week makes next week like yesterday the same way when god restores he can carry everything that should happen yesterday that did not happen bring it into your tomorrow listen the greatest restoration is not money if all you receive as restoration is is uh, what they call it now arrears you were not restored whoever can restore time really restore and i will restore thee yes no matter what you lose if you don't lose time you did not lose anything people have lost billions in deals and investments and in less than a year they came back people lost parts of their bodies and by medical procedures they had it back but when you lose time you really lost look at me there are doors that have refused to open to us by age 30 by age 40 
by age 50 there are certain doors that are supposed to have opened you don't build a house at 75 it's not a blessing it's like a man of 50 years trying to write work yes you say no knowledge is a waste but that man will be sleeping in class because according to the program of life he should be resting so one of the things that will happen to us tonight by the spirit is that while we are praying there are, you will be stepping into doors by the spirit please believe me let me tell you this there are people seated here prophetically you are not yet in 2020 believe what i'm telling you it's just your body and your awareness that is in 2020 the prophetic gives birth to the physical realm my brothers and my sisters hear me the same way there are people who are in 2020 but prophetically they are in 2030 so the result you will see does not show like there is a recession the results you see in their life does not show like the, the bible talks about men who have tasted of the powers of the ages to come david was in the old testament but he translated to the realm where he said the lord said to my lord that was a coronation service of jesus when he resurrected from the dead the lord said to my lord sit down at thy right hand listen that means a man can be 24 and your favor can be that of a 60 year old man because you found a way of opening doors and you said i need to i need to catch up my, my father could not open that door my brothers could not if i move at my pace my family will not be saved so joseph goes ahead and then becomes a prime minister and brings his father his brothers isaiah 61 we're about to pray verse 1 the spirit of the lord is upon me because the lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek watch this he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison some versions say the prison doors to them that are bound You've never seen a man with a mobile prison moving. Yet the Bible tells you there are people who there are doors. The doors move with them to make sure their tomorrow becomes like yesterday. I made up my mind that in my lifetime, every door that must open must be open. Listen. Many of us here, men of God, we must be angry in this conference. We say, Lord, there are doors that must open. Must open. Must open. There are doors of ministry. There are doors of favor. Listen. Watch this. If it is true that God gave you the project, then there must be someone who has been planted in that year today to make sure that project is easy. If you are struggling, the project is in tomorrow what you are in yesterday there will need to be a system where that door opens up so that you come into it listen if you are watch this let's assume let's assume that you are in the living room and I'm in the kitchen if I say come and carry your food you don't pick it from the parlor you have to live there to come where it is and pick it up are we together now so if your tomorrow is calling you and you are in your yesterday you cannot receive tomorrow's blessings because although you want to come the door will not allow you come your tomorrow is saying there is a house someone has bought for you already but you are still in your yesterday lord where is the house you promised me is in your tomorrow but you are not entering that tomorrow you may be growing older and yet your dreams will never change in your dream you'll be seeing that you are in your house already 
I hope you understand what I've taught tonight. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. But when you find out that my life is stagnated, there's retrogression, nobody desires to come and invest into my life and my growth. No. Now listen, the interesting thing is that there are times that you are not the one who will have to open the door. There are things you can do where you are that will make people come and open the door and meet you there. The Bible says when Mary gave birth to Jesus, they were in a manger. Is that true? And because they gave birth right there, the Bible said the Magi, they saw a star and followed that star, came and opened that door and met Jesus. That means that there are times that it's not even you that will have to open that door. Right where you are, God can do something to men. The Bible says in Jesus' crusade that the whole city came and gathered at the door. A whole city comes to gather at the door. Because there are some of us, even if you are to open those doors, because time has gone, you need God to do something to what you would have rushed to, to come and follow that door and meet you right where you are. We are going to pray some serious prayer tonight. And I plead with you in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, that when it is time to pray, please, give yourself and your destiny the full concentration and pray some doors to be opened and pray other things to open that door and meet you. That by tomorrow before the vigil, you will return with testimonies and say, Sir, I... In 24 hours. Listen. Hear me Lagos. This is a place of abundance. This is a place of greatness. My question is where is your portion? Why do strangers come into your land. And eat the riches of the earth. They have mastered how to open the doors and the borders of the city. That as soon as they step in. There are doors, they open the doors that leads to the hearts of kings. They open the doors that they tear down the two lift gates of territories. Eat of the blessings and leave. That are normally, we are going to deal with it tonight. You cannot be, he said, I have seen an error that servants are riding upon horses and then the princes themselves are walking afoot. Bible tells us no that all doors can be open at midnight he says Paul and Silas they prayed oh when they prayed and they prayed and they prayed then they sang we'll deal with all those tomorrow and he said when that happened there was an earthquake when it came down there was a miracle that happened there and the Bible records it says and all doors open how many doors all doors open financial doors spiritual doors fruitfulness doors doors of speed doors of influence minister Dusion Yeka got it powerfully channels your spirit has channels your finances has channels he said open up a father be opened be open you can be in a city and the door of that city is closed over you you will know that the city is closed over you listen the word of god the logos of god was under a closed heaven for 30 years jesus the logos of the father was under 
a closed heaven nobody placed a demand on his grace and then the bible says while he was baptized of john while praying the heavens opened and there was a voice that says this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased he said hear ye him from that day everywhere jesus went whether the mountain whether the seaside because a voice said hear ye him what voice has said patronize your shop just because you open a shop does not mean a verdict has come on it someone will stand in front of your school with four children and not see a need to put their children in your school and yet will travel and go somewhere the school fees is the same the standard is the same i tell you your door is closed believe me are we together every time they want to give a job they will look at you looking for a job and yet ask you who do you know from this state needs a job and you're saying but i i've been he said no 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 not you someone shout no way listen there is a door that when it is closed you become like Ichabod. you never become the desire and the delight of people but there is also a door that can be opened every good thing waits till you arrive it is true when doors are open access is given to you do you know that the heart of men has doors hello do you know that the heart of men has doors yes sir please come my brother this gentleman come look at this man do you have some money in your pocket let me give you some watch this just watch this hold this now this guy this guy can have money hold it i can stand here he feels like blessing somebody but because although i'm close to him there is a door that i'm not seeing because that door is closed he will never favor me even if he's your father have you seen listen i'm teaching you deep mysteries have you seen people who it looks like your brother your sister is charm they are building a house for another person they are blessing other people you are here saying please my school fees is just thirty thousand. the man wants to help you he doesn't even know why he's not helping you i'm interpreting it for you today listen proximity does not mean a door has opened believe what i'm telling you you have a neighbor for five years he has not checked to see whether you ex today no sir there is a door you can even walk how are you good morning sir you are this close yet this far because the door is closed are we together i want to travel abroad and here is someone who has helped 50 people to go abroad and you are here you discuss with him and he says let's pray oh lord help this person and while you are going in his office he's inviting another person to help him i tell you why you are close to him but your door is closed you can sing a song powerfully received from heaven even put it on youtube and wonder why everybody passes it because there is a door that closes it you can open a company i deal with furnitures apostle i bring all my furnitures from turkey i bring them from italy congratulations for your diligence my question is i know you have gone across borders but is your door open? apostle i'm a man of god i fear god with all my heart i have paid my dues and paid my price nobody is placing a demand on my grace every time they use me to invite someone else when will my own grace speak sorry do you know that man i want to invite him another person said, do you know that man i say are you aware i'm a pastor too listen i hope you are not offended by what i'm teaching you 
because this is a serious thing if this door does not open we'll just end this conference over nothing will change but if that door does open this night my brothers and my sisters you will marvel and wonder i hope you realize the parable we read i cannot get up and bring you what you want not because it is not available but the door has been shut the moment this door opens i can be in america this man can be in brazil believe me when that door opens you will look for me if it means to travel you will come here and say i felt led to bless you otherwise you will keep getting offended at people who are close to you and wondering why they are not blessing you i'm giving you the explanation now just because a man is looking at you and is aware of your need does not mean spiritually the door is open hallelujah hallelujah do you know hands can be laid on you but the door that opens you up to receive the anointing can be closed the anointing only enters a vessel that is open is it in your bible just because you are a vessel does not mean you are opened you can be closed a prophetic grace comes and it's like pouring water with a cup inverted so you keep receiving prophecies you keep receiving words and wonder why it does not happen hear what i'm telling you and the words are true yet it does not happen in your life this is your blessing god has already instructed it you have seen it in your dreams you've seen it in your visions you've even seen the person who is the helper yet the door is closed you will come and tell him sir please it's just to zinc my house with one million naira i will be done and the man will say i'm sorry I, I need to travel for a meeting i will attend to you right there he's wiring 30 million to someone and say let it be a privilege please um oh in 2018 you told me about your zinc uh, let's see let's see remind me again and between 2018 he sent over 10 billion to others and you are close to him you meet during christmas you meet during easter you meet every time but the door is shut just because you have someone's number does not mean the door is open you can call how are you um okay it's all right you'll hear from me and that's the end of it that conversation at a point will come and mock you but let your door be open listen was it not listen joseph was in prison the door was closed someone came out and was with pharaoh and promised to attend to him but added two years to his suffering but when the time came he says the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon how about jesus the son of the living god when he was in the tomb they rolled the tomb and he was there when it was time for him to resurrect the first thing that happened was that an angel came from heaven rolled away the stone and sat on it that means i'm sitting on it let me see who will close this door listen that God opens a door and sits on it now the Savior could come out you can resurrect and still remain there because the door is closed ask Lazarus Lazarus before you will call him to come forth he said roll away the stone tonight we are going to roll away some stones Tonight we are going to roll away some stones. My spirit is fired up this night. Financial stones. Fruitfulness stones. Marital stones. That everything that must shift. Because 
our first assignment is to roll that stone and then we will call some things forth favor come forth lifting come forth listen please hear what i'm saying you're a beautiful lady well behaved you love god with all your heart you are sincere passionate and a man will pass you like this as if he's blind and go around someone that continues to wreak havoc in his life and yet you are here as a gift and a blessing just because people can see you does not mean that they can connect to you there can still be a door I, I, are you getting what I'm saying now please hear me when it's time to pray you are going to pray even for your business even for your life even for your ministry Lord what has closed this door this thing should not be this hard ah. we are here for you come and do what you do we are here for you come and do what you do we are here, we are here. Life is hard the same way you feel when you stand in front of a closed door physically that's the kind of tension your destiny feels when your door is closed even spiritually things that should be easier or necessarily hard see let me tell you hardship has an explanation believe me believe me the womb and be closed is it in your bible that this womb you see has a door your mind has a door your mind can be closed then open ye their understanding that they might understand scripture a man's understanding like a womb can be closed We are going to pray we are going to pray my, my spirit is angry because I believe with all my heart that it is time for God to shift someone to another dimension please lift your voice and begin to blast in tongues lift your voice and begin to pray are there people of prayer here she takes Kabaranch Kabaraka Salata, a break at the ticket of Kabaratos, Savaranabos, a break at the Parata Kabaroto Seketa, Holy Ghost Christian Santa, pray Shalas Kabares Sani Katariata. Everyone that knocked to everyone that knocked, the door shall be open. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. Look at me. The Bible says, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted, everlasting doors. Why? Because the King of glory, because your favor, because your lifting wants to come in. It wants to come into your life. 
someone is going to pray say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus oh come on oh come on say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i decree and declare i decree and declare by the word of the lord by the word of the lord every door every door that is standing that is standing before me before me and is demonic and is demonic by the power of the holy by ghost the power of the holy i ghost. break that door now hallelujah listen we are going to pray the lord just opened my eyes and i saw what looked like a tomb truly like we we're saying there are people who certain tombs that have covered you must be open must be open hallelujah i want to pray we're still praying but the power of god is going to come on those people and i want you to bring them out here we're going to pray hallelujah please hear me except god is not god that provided there is a door that covers your glory that door must be smashed into pieces hey, man. lift your hands we're still going to pray but i just sense that strong anointing i want to pray father at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus and as you shout every demonic orchestration that stands as a door listen to me this is a prophetic church the power of the holy ghost is real and that everything that is not of god must give way please bring the people out while we pray father let everything that stands as a door and as a barrier over your people give way now at the count of three shout jesus one two three jesus right now i declare that door be open be open be open bring them out be open shout that name again that door did not open for your father it didn't open for your mother it didn't open for your relatives but in the name of jesus as you shout that door like the wall of jericho must sink down are you ready at the count of three one two three jesus Rapita, 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Who is Kayode? Kayode. I'm hearing the name Kayode. You are at the back. Kayode. You are a tall gentleman from the back. Is he here? Kayode. Run. Come. Kayode. Where is he? What's your name? Harunde Saladusia Sadapashiata. Who is Bolu? I'm hearing a name Bolu. Bolu. This is what I'm hearing. Bolu, is there someone like that? We may not have. Please don't miss the vigil tomorrow. Our time is gone. What's your name? Where are you from? Ogun State, sir. Ogun State. I want to pray for you. Everything that is not of God. There is someone you are in business. The power of God is going to come on you now. Please bring that person out. Right now. I'm seeing, I just saw fire. Because that person's business must be delivered here. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to come on that person right now. Please look for the person and bring the person out now. There is someone here right now as I'm speaking. You are receiving a strong prophetic mantle. I'm seeing a strong grace for the prophetic and the Lord is telling me it's going to come on someone now. I don't know where they are. One, two, three, four. Four people. I stretch my hands. May that grace locate you now. A heavy prophetic grace. Please bring them out. Please help them. You reign, you reign. Hello, you reign, you reign, you reign. Hello, you reign, you reign, you reign. Hallelujah. 